Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name is Duke, and this is my YouTube channel. I keep, this is probably my seventh attempt. I just, I don't know, I keep, uh, I don't know, I think I'm trying to be too perfect or something. Um, the Ego's World. I'm going to talk a little bit about The Course in Miracles. I know everybody loves The Course in Miracles. Um, so it takes a while to figure out or to even kind of scratch the surface what the course is. Um, it is it is three books in one. Um, it's a text, a workbook for students. It has a meditation for each day of the year. That's It's to help deprogram your mind. Deprogram your mind from the world of time and space and to help you to remember who you really are. It's just a tool. Uh, it's just a... It's, it's just a tool, one of many, uh, to, to help you awaken and remember who you really are. Uh, beyond, uh, the ego is the, the ego in this context that I'm referring to is, uh, the fake self. Uh, it's the part of our, our self that believes that we are a body, that believes we're a physical body. All the accumulated beliefs, thoughts, feelings that surround your personal story of being a body. Um, we believe, you know, we're an age, we're gender, uh, we're a race, all those things. And uh, they seem perfectly, uh, seems perfectly normal and natural in the ego's world. And uh, the physical body is actually, it's uh, a temple for the ego. Um, at least until it becomes a classroom to unlearn the world of separation and remember that you're actually a mind or in religious terms, a spirit. Um, we are an unlimited mind or unlimited consciousness. This is what they don't want you to know. Because if we all knew who we really were, we could no longer be controlled. And uh, we would be able to have experience of perfect unity because we would see each other for who we really are. We would see that it would be just like saying, I'm you, you're me. It's just we're all in different bodies simultaneously. I'm in all these different bodies simultaneously. That's why you are my brother and you are my sister. That's the true meaning of brotherly love is spirit is spiritual knowledge you know has nothing to do with the body has nothing to do with the flesh those things are all part of the ego's world um so the ego is is basically the mind's belief that it can sin in religious terms that it can sin or separate um scientific terms the big bang the origin of time and space um, in like the course terms, the big bang is the tiny mad idea or the thought of separation. It's actually, it's, it's like for a brief moment, oneness, reality, God, eternal consciousness had a thought, you know, what if, what if I could think apart from myself? What if I could think apart from myself? And this is the story of everything. This is the mind's trip, uh, the great hallucination. Um, all right, continue there where I got cut off there. Uh, so the key that unlocks the door, uh, cause you could say like the Gnostics say, uh, the world is really, uh, the world is really hell. This world is really hell. Um, it's really a prison for your mind. Um, and it's, it's also, uh, the course calls it a substitute reality. Um, Everything here is a bit, bit, why is it a substitute reality? Because we're, we're substituting uh, the love, the knowledge that we, that we sacrificed uh, to experience uh, this, this dream, this trip. We had to deny or forget completely who we are, a complete state of amnesia. And that's where the whole story of... Uh, the illuminated ones that there's 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 part of our 
our world, there's these elites in our world that are keeping knowledge for themselves and they, they don't want us to know. The key, and I guess the whole point of this video is, um, I know there's a lot of thoughts, there's a lot of things surrounding that and a lot of evidence, um, you know, especially, especially in this day and age where a lot of people stay stuck, including myself, uh, especially during the, uh, especially with all the COVID stuff, I found myself becoming very uh, divided and very angry. Um, and the key to freedom, transformational forgiveness is where you realize that you are, nobody's doing this to you. Um, it's it's kind of like, you know, when you buy a piece of property, you sign that huge stack of papers or, you know, it's like all these different contracts, uh, even our birth certificate, uh, all these papers and agreements and all this legalese. It's, that's part of our world. It's, it's like, it's our will. That's what you have to realize is the, the key to freedom, the key to the cell, transformational forgiveness is realizing that it's all you. It's also realizing that the world is an illusion, even though it, it seems and feels real. But once you taste the truth, you realize that the, wor the world is no more real than the sleeping dreams you had last night. Everything here is equally unreal. Uh, that can sound crazy, though, um, until you're actually, you slowly build the foundational understanding uh, through... Uh, intellectual study and through actual experience coupled with actual experiences um, you begin to build um, a case for unity a case for oneness um, and I don't want to lose this uh, this point I'm trying to make here is that um, you have to realize that you're not a victim uh, that's the biggest, I think that's the most important thing of all. You, you're not a victim of circumstance. It's kind of like you signed the paper. Um, it's kind of like you chose to play the game. You chose to be under all these laws. Um, you wanted to dive deep and see. Um, you were willing to do you know, basically whatever it took, you were willing to give up your oneness, you know, so now you're, you're in the game, uh, you're, you're in the thick of it. And uh, the only way out is uh, letting go of all your grievances, this is where I'm going with this, it's letting go, it's, 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 you have to develop the idea or the willingness that to let go of all your resentments, uh, all all your anger and resentments and all your judgments. That's the price for freedom. Um, that's like the prerequisite. That's like the, the key ingredient that uh, sets this whole thing off is you have to give up all it. You have to be willing. At first, it's just developing the willingness because uh, it seems impossible to let go of uh, anger and grievances and all these things divisions within us it seems impossible but you just have to develop the willingness how willing are you to let go of, of all your grievances all your anger all your grievances but i think i'm losing my train of thought I just uh hopefully i get better at these videos as time goes on um i'll uh i'll work on more describing this more in the next videos uh to come I'm going to also work on some more uh, slackline and drone videos, too, um, mixed in with these. Um, and uh, whatever else I think of along the way. But uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that sheds a little light. Um, I want to keep the video short. Um, that's the whole idea. I'll look forward to uh, making another video for you real soon. So thanks for watching. And remember to subscribe, hit the bell, you get notified when I make new videos.